Hello everyone. Um, today I would I just wanted to do a quick product tutorial or uh, rather product review over the Heidi Swap Color Shine um, Shimmer Mists that she has. Um, she has quite a few in her collection, I believe. I just have eight of them, um, and I just happened to grab the colors that worked well on a project that I was doing at the time. Um, so I do plan on getting the rest of them, I just don't have them yet. So I just wanted to do a quick review um, over these. The price point is pretty similar to those um, dilution sprays, if you guys have used the Diane Re Lee dilution sprays. The Heidi Swap Color Shine, um, it usually ranges between four and five dollars, which um, it's about the same size as the um, dilution spray mist. They're both in two ounce bottles, which I will do a comparison between the dilution sprays and the Heidi Swap Shimmer Mists, um, but that'll be in a different tutorial. So yeah, uh, the colors that I have today are blush, uh, citron, which is kind of a lime green color, bronzer, chartreuse, navy, sea foam, coral, and white. So I've swatched these out on a piece of white cardstock so you can kind of see what they will look like when you spray them. Now, w one thing that I think is really cool with these is um, depending on how intense you want the color is going to depend on how many sprays you uh, spray on your piece. So let me just show you um, the white, of course, is on white cardstock, but the white, um, let me zoom in. The white turns out to be more of a shimmery color. So if you're just wanting like a hint of sparkle, I would get the white. Um, I did swatch it out on a few other pieces of cardstock and it really was just this, the, the shimmer. So I did like that for cases like um, holidays if you're wanting like the snow to sparkle or today if you're anywhere where it's snowing <laughs> you could use this on a card so yeah just a shimmer of the white and you can kind of see in the bottom that it's just a shimmery color so yeah that's the white the blush is a really pretty pastel pink it's like a rose color um, and so I sprayed each of these cards three times so I can get the more intense color. Now if you just spray it once, it's gonna be a really um, sheer hint of the rose color, um, or not the rose, but the, the blush color. And so again, this is sprayed three times so that I could get the intensity that I was looking for from the pink color. Next up is Coral. Again, all of these are sprayed three times with my um, color shine. So yeah, I've done projects where I've just sprayed it once just to get the the hint of the color. I've done projects where I'm spraying it three or four times to get the intense color, but you can kind of see just how shimmery and um, pretty these colors are if you did if you did the um, the layered look with the color. So yeah, there's the coral. The bronzer is one that I really, really, really love how it turned out. This again is sprayed three times and it's got the, the dark brown color in the, in the background part, but when it dries, it has like these gold bronze um, puddles. You can kind of see like the splotches and stuff on the cardstock that I think look really cool that turn out to be that bronze color that you're looking for. So yeah, the bronze color is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, this I used a lot in my fall projects, like on leaves. When I was stamping out leaves and stuff, I would just spray some of this on there, let it dry, and it turned out so cool. Just another extra added layer and piece of texture that you could use on your cards or your projects. Um, so yeah, that could be your little secret weapon, so to say. The sea foam. Uh, the sea foam again was a really pretty color. Um, 
just the color that you would think of seafoam being after three sprays this is exactly what I had imagined this I will use a lot in my um, my St. Patrick's Day projects and things the three different greens that I have so yeah those will uh, be what I use those for again I really liked uh, the seafoam and the coral together um, the seafoam and the blush together the blush and the coral together so yeah you can mix and match the looks that you're looking for um, the type of sprays etc next up I have chartreuse which just a little tidbit on your inks and sprays um, I would suggest cleaning your sprays cleaning the tip of the um, the sprayer off after each use this one was actually clogged, which you can kind of see it's, it was just barely spraying right here. And so to get it unclogged, I just ran it under some hot water and then I used a baby wipe to wipe off the rest of the sprayer. And then it sprayed, it sprayed just fine, but sometimes the sprayers do get clogged and um, yeah, just run them under hot water and it came out just fine. So the chartreuse is a really pretty... Um, mix between, um, I would say it's not a sage green, but it's not like a true green. Um, but again, it'd be really cute on shamrocks um, and stuff for St. Patty's Day. So again, that's why I was kind of drawn to the chartreuse color. Citron is another one that I love, love, love. Again, this one is going to be one of my all-time favorites just because... I love lime green and citron is exactly what I was looking for when I said lime green shimmer mist citron is it so for those of you who have lots of projects that you use lime green on this is so cool like I'm going to use this on Easter eggs and shamrocks and leprechaun stuff lots of stuff coming up for spring this would look really cute with um, grass if you spray the grass uh, Citron was just one of those, this is one of my, this is just one of my favorite sprays. And then the last one that I happen to have is Navy. And oh my gosh, I freaking love this color. It's, um, a lot of the other colors that I have of hers are the more pastel muted colors. This is one of the darker ones. This one and the bronzer are one of the darker colors that I have. The navy is just pow, just like in your face navy. This one I am going to use a lot with um, sailor type themed cards. This one I really love for water, for background images for water. And um, it looks really cool with any of the colors that I just showed you of the Heidi Swap collection. So you can really see how shimmery and pretty and beautiful this color of navy is from Heidi Swap. So yeah, um, I absolutely love all the colors that I have. I will, I will get the other colors eventually. I just, I just don't have them at the moment. Um, they are really easy to use on projects. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions about how to use them, projects that I've used them on, um, tips and tricks that you would like to um, know about these. I think it looks really cool. Like Lately it's been really popular to do uh, happy pieces of mail where you've got these, this piece of artwork and the envelope but you're also decorating the envelope itself and sending that out to whoever um, whoever you're sending it to. Can you imagine getting an envelope in the mail just colored with this navy or colored with you know any of these would be something really cool to send to a loved one, to a friend, um, whomever you're sending your pieces of happy mail to. So if you liked this video I am going to be posting more product reviews of um, some of my favorite products so be sure to check those out. Um, make sure if you did like this video or any of our other videos to give us a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen and I will see you in a little bit for some more product reviews. Thanks! Bye-bye!